Okay, welcome back. This is Keith, aka of Good, and today, um, since I split up, I, I finished the um, I finished the simple house part or tutorial uh, yesterday in 3D New to Pro, but uh, it ended up on a uh, single video instead of the the four parts. Now, later on, when I decide, if I decide to do, um, well, actually, it doesn't matter because if I decide to do eight videos, it's still going to be one hour pieces. And generally, that just means uh, 12 minutes a piece, which is 48 minutes, and then I get the little few minutes in between for breaks. But since it didn't end, it didn't stop at a, um, at a boundary, I guess you might say. A boundary is four videos, which, uh, accounts for about an hour's worth of work. Um, instead of going back to John Lemon, I decide I'm going to go back to... And you know what I forgot this time, too. Um, I'll go ahead and put that up right now. But, um... That is if any of you have actually watched any of my videos, which I only get, you know... I only get, an average, about three, three views for, per vid if that you know sometimes it's more some often it's less but um you you'll know that if i always forget to start this stupid timer in fact i just forgot to start it now even though i i pulled it up so we're going to start it now and we're going to go to 10 minutes on here because if they, if there would be about 12 minute video so i decided to continue on and uh, i'll continue with blender 3d noob to pro until i come to a boundary for um, um, a a four video boundary in other words if I get this let's say this whole thing done in these next three videos then I will jump back to John Lemon or the you know the unity tutorial but um, I don't think that will be the case I think it will still take long a, a little a little ways so so let's just go ahead and start here in this model, you will model a simple human figure. Along the way, you will practice using extrusion and learn additional ways to select vertices, edges, and faces. And this is what it will look like. Yeah. A, a, per, a real person there. Right? So, new scene selection methods. Border select, circle select, lasso select, vertex by vertex selection, edge select mode, face select mode, extruding limbs. Region extrusion, extrusion, extruding a leg, extruding the pelvis, extruding the rest of the body, adding the head, save your work. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to start a new scene. And I'm going to do the same thing that I was doing earlier. And I actually don't know what's better. Is it better that, uh, that this is on top, maybe? Or is it better that it's not. Let's not do that. Come on. Well, I'm going to presume that it did because... Wait, what? Alright, let's do this. Yes. There we go. Um... Okay, so I'm actually going to try to put this up here. I wish I wasn't so dang sweet, so dang sweet, so dang sweet. I wish I wasn't so dang sweet. You are like cinnamon. Sorry. I know my my singing is is terrible. But just watching bad lip reading hostels on the hill. It just it's catchy you just you're gonna be singing it all the time and you're gonna be saying you are like cinnamon like all the time okay so we're starting a new project here and let's go ahead and pull this guy over here like I said uh, I got two two uh, monitors and when the this goes off when it goes off the edge it, it tends to go in the other monitor so Sometimes it's kind of annoying to doing that, so um, I give it a little bit of a margin so that uh, when it, when I go off the window, it just goes into the border area. 
Anyways, we'll do this. Start a new scene with the default cube. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Tab to edit the cube, scale the cube down by pressing the S key, the period key, the file key, and enter. Okay. Let's go into tab mode. Has to be selected. Let's do the scale key. Then it says the period. I'm not sure if it's the right invalid. Maybe it's this one. Okay, so let's do this again. Tab mode. Okay, we're gonna say I'm gonna do this S. No, do this S. Period five, which is point five. Enter. So now we just scaled it down. Okay. Just as you did for the house model, you begin by selecting the top four vertices of the cube. This section presents six methods for doing so. Ease of selection depends partly on the viewport settings and the view viewpoint. For greatest ease, you want the view in which the parts you're trying to select are both visible and close together. For clarity, you use a view with the cube in which all vertices are visible. Go to the right side view with the three. Disable the manipulator widget. Make sure the limit selection to visible option limit select individual to visible options off. And of course, in in uh, why did why did, why is it okay? There we go. So in Blender two point eight, um, it doesn't have that, but it has just the same thing here. It's got this which means you can select all vertices uh, all at the same time it's transparent so now let's hit three okay let's see if I can hit zero no wait it's supposed to be in here zero no that's camera view I forget what it is to fill up the view with it but uh, that's all right um, okay, so I, I guess I want to zoom in here. That's right orthographic. Hmm. Orthographic. Um, that's not right perspective. What was right perspective? No. User perspective, user. User orthographic. Front orthographic, user perspective, right ortho. Was it control three? Control three. Right ortho, shift three. Three. Alt three. I don't remember what it is. See, so like. If I do this, I can see. What is right perspective, though? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, all right. Make sure you start in vertex select mode, uh, border select tool. Selects things that lie in a particular region of the viewport. Or a rectangular selection tool. Um, select all vertices. Deselect all vertices by pressing A, or in this case, A, A, double A. Press B to activate border select tool. Two dash gray boxes appear. Uh, click and drag across the area you want to select. When you release the button, the vertices inside the rectangle will be added to the selection. Practice selecting the top of the verse this way. Okay, so first thing we want to do is want to 
A. And then we want to do a B, which is a box select. And of course, that's pretty easy. Circle select tool. The circle select tool selects and deselects things and align in a particular region, circular region of the viewport. Activate 3D root, deselect all vertices. Uh, press C to do circle. Um, okay, when you when the tool is active, you can do various things. Move the select area. Simply move the mouse pointer. Resize the select area using the scroll or the num plus minus keys. Uh, to select vertices within the circle, click uh, left mouse button, deselect middle mouse button, shift, deactivate. Practice selecting four top vertices this way. Okay, so let's do this again. Set through this time, let's do the C. And see, they're all selected. see some here what if I do this okay if I do the shift of course it will deselect them and then you want to expand it you can just do it like that All right okay Lasso. Many graphics programs has a lasso select. Uh, drag the mouse pointer in a loop around the vertices you want to select as you drag, dash gray line will appear. Control. Let's see what happens when I do control. Left mouse button. What about uh, control right mouse button? Aha! Lasso select. I see. That makes sense. That's pretty easy. Um, vertex. Okay, so that's the end of this video. So um, catch me in the next one. We'll see how far we can get. Thanks for watching.